and even from all the way out here, I can fully control my 3D printer. One of my all-time favourite 3D printing accessories is the Beagle camera from Minchin. When they asked me if I'd like to try the new version 2 that was soon to be released, I of course jumped at the chance. If you've not heard of the Beagle camera, it's a plug and play remote monitoring device that connects to your Marlin firmware 3D printer, which allows you to control it and watch print progress while you're away from your machine. One of the biggest complaints with 3D printing is the time it takes. Some prints can take days and very few of us have the time to sit and watch a print from the first to last layer. However, if a print is going to fail, you can almost guarantee it's going to happen when your back is turned. Remote monitoring with a camera is the answer, but many of the options out there are either really complicated to set up or they don't truly let you monitor and control your printer from anywhere. The Beagle camera from Minchin is the only option that I've found that ticks all of the boxes. It's also not very expensive either and with the additional discount code that you get for being one of my viewers, it's even cheaper. Make sure you check out the links in the description if you plan to buy one. I was sent the Beagle 2 to test, I didn't buy it, but as with all my reviews, I'm completely free to say whatever I like in the video. The Beagle camera has always been a really reliable way for me to monitor and control my 3D printer when I'm not in the same room, but initially there were only a limited number of printers that it was compatible with. The Minchin team are very active though and are constantly adding new features and 3D printers that the Beagle can control. The list of compatible machines is now huge and it's very unlikely that you'll own a 3D printer that the Beagle can't control. If you do own something really obscure, then you can just use the custom option where all you have to do is put in your printer print volume dimensions. Getting everything set up couldn't be easier either and the Beagle uses a really clever system where you just download an app and then point the camera at a QR code that the app creates. It really is that simple. All of the information about your Wi-Fi is transferred over and then the camera even tells you out loud when it's connected. Successfully connected to the Wi-Fi. In the app, you just select your printer from a drop-down list and you're ready to go. The Beagle 2 comes with a tripod in the box and the camera has a standard quarter inch UNC thread for it to attach to. So you can always find a good position for the camera to have it pointing at your print. And with the Beagle 2, you can even manually adjust the focus by turning the lens housing to make sure that your shots are super crispy. The camera is 1080p and runs at 25 frames per second, which is the same as the Beagle 1, but now the Beagle 2 has dual band Wi-Fi, which helps get those 25 frames out of the camera and into your eyes. There's also a more powerful chipset in the Beagle 2, which ensures that there are no hiccups with faster and more complicated prints. Not that I really had any with the original Beagle camera. The biggest advantage that the Beagle cameras have over many of the other options for remotely monitoring your 3D printer is that you're not limited to only using them on the same Wi-Fi network. With the Beagle camera, you can connect to it wherever you go. For instance, from here, I can preheat the bed, send a pre-sliced G-code file, and even start the print running. I can then leave my phone open to watch it running or carry on with my day and check in whenever I want to. I don't know the full details of how this is done, and in my original Beagle camera review, I completely missed this feature. I believe the true remote monitoring is possible because Minchin own their own servers, which both the camera and your phone app connect to. There's no port forwarding or VPNs or any of that other complicated stuff to worry about. The Beagle 2 has all of the same remote monitoring features that the original Beagle camera had. It even has an additional trick up its sleeve. Whilst the Beagle cameras can't actually control a resin printer, with the addition of a UV sensor, the Beagle 2 can create time-lapse videos using the UV light pulse as a trigger for the pictures. Time-lapse videos on an FDM printer are really well handled too. There are a number of different time-lapse options which will give you different videos from the stitched together pictures, but my favourite is the clean time-lapse. In this mode, the print head is moved to a specific X and Y coordinate while the picture is taken, so it looks like the print is growing out of the bed. With the latest firmware, you don't even have to have a 3D printer connected. You can just create a time-lapse video of anything you like. The Beagle cameras can also see in the dark. You have the option of a colour or black and white time-lapse image, so you don't even have to turn a light on if you're leaving a print running overnight. You can send your G-code files directly from your phone through the app, or if you type in the camera's IP address, you can access a web browser and send files directly from your PC instead. This is what I do after slicing files on my computer. But there's also a removable SD card if you want to go old school and save files to a card instead. If you allow the app to send you notifications, then you'll get messages about the progress of your print. 
like when it's started, when it's finished, but also if there are any kind of problems. There are also some other features with the new firmware that I haven't had a chance to play with yet, like sharing your feed with friends or connecting Bluetooth devices. Minchin really are pushing more and more features into their products with regular firmware updates, which I think is great. There are also a couple of other projects in the pipeline that I'm not allowed to tell you about yet, but rest assured I'll be one of the first to show you their new stuff when it lands. So the Beagle 2 can do a lot of things, but there are still a couple of things that it can't do. It can't actually turn your 3D printer's power on. For that, I use a smart plug that's controlled by another app. I'll link to the ones that I use in the description. The Beagle also can't currently interact with Clipper. It is possible to use the camera feed if you have a Clipper printer, but if you're gonna do that, you might as well just use a webcam and save yourself a bit of money. Minchin are well aware of the current trend towards Clipper firmware, and it wouldn't surprise me to see them come up with something like the Beagle camera that can take advantage of the benefits of Clipper in time. All in all, the Beagle 2 camera is a great evolution of the original Beagle camera in a slightly different package. Would I say that you need to upgrade if you have the Beagle 1? Maybe not, because a lot of the new features are actually available in a firmware update for your original Beagle camera. However, knowing how active Minchin are with developments, it wouldn't surprise me to see some new features that take advantage of the more capable hardware on the Beagle 2 soon. Watch this space. If you don't already have a way to remotely monitor and control your 3D printer, then the Beagle 2 camera is a fantastic piece of kit that will add a huge amount of flexibility to your 3D printing experience. Drop me a comment to let me know about your experience with a Beagle camera, or let me know what you use instead. If you do decide to buy a Beagle 2 camera, then don't forget to check out the links in the description and use the discount code. Click one of these two videos if you want to see some other 3D printing accessories and what I think about them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.